everybody, it's Mary and I'm coming to you to do finally that liquid lipstick review that you've been waiting for. The goal was to come up with a lipstick that was comfortable, didn't age your mouth, um, and had lot, lots of staying power for basically my mom. Because, um, you know, like most of us, she gets tired of reapplying lipstick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and who wants to worry about lipstick being on your teeth all the time? And you want it, you get tired of having no mouth after you eat and whatnot. And wouldn't it be nice if there was such a thing as a liquid lipstick that did those things? Okay, so before I start showing you all of these lip colors, I do want to tell you how they were treated. I was not ginger. I am, a, frankly, a pig. When I eat, I get my food everywhere. I'm usually wiping off the back of my hand. Yes, I'm very ladylike when I eat. Not. Okay. Well, a lot of the just dishes and things I like to eat are messy. They're oily and greasy. So these liquid lipsticks, when I tell you that they went through it, I wasn't drinking through no dang straw. Girls, I was taking a cup and like, mm -hmm. and licking my lips and wiping my mouth. And that's how I roll. <laughs> so all of these got treated the same. I did not reapply anything. Nothing was ever reapplied. If a liquid lipstick can hold out on me, it can hold out on you. So having said that, it's a liquid lipstick showdown. So the first one that we're going to take a look at is Anastasia. Anastasia, or Anastasia, however you want to say it, uh, this glorious shade is soft lilac. So Scythe Lock, this goes on beautiful, okay? But like all liquid lipsticks, pretty much, I mean, you gotta work quick because it's gonna subtle. And it comes out a lot. So you gotta be, I mean, woo, full on color as soon as you put it on. Very opaque, very beautiful. But is it long lasting? And does it look luscious on your lips? Should a mature woman be wearing this? Roll those pictures. The next one that we're going to talk about is by Chanel, okay? Now this one was sent to me by my good friend Kristen Gain. Thank you again Kristen, I love this and you nailed my shade. Okay, so this is in light rose and this uh, sh the Chanel is a double end. So on one end we have the color and on the other end we have a gloss. Alright, now what I like about the Chanel, I want you to look at what just happened. Okay, so I put it on, but you see how you can see through that? I like that. I like that it doesn't go on full on, okay? Um, I think that that is what helps it to look and feel as comfortable it does. You can build this. So you can put it on and you can build the color. And therefore, when you get done, it doesn't look all dried in all your lines and stuff like that. And then what you do is, after you've got this on and it has dried down, I love that. Ooh, I'm so easily amused. <laughs> this is a lip gloss. Okay? And you paint that on this after you get it on there, and it looks like you're wearing lipstick with lip gloss. Mm -hmm. And you would think, there's as soon as I touch something with my mouth, it's coming off. Yeah. Um, serious, though. It's wet looking, so you think, oh, that's going to come off in a second. No. Kiss you the back of your hand and you will notice that it's just the gloss. You don't, it doesn't, no color comes off. It's amazing. I don't know how that technology does that, uh, but it does. And it has great staying power. So roll those pictures.
Next in our lineup would be the drugstore version of Chanel. I'm not, I kid you not. It works sort of along the same th same way, and to me, it has just as good a staying power. And it has that same technology where you put on the, the second, the, it's not really a gloss. It's more like, it looks like a, a balm, okay? When you put this on there, then it, sort, it does its magic. And the two of these are like meant for each other, okay? Meaning that you, the, whatever it is that makes it stay, it's these two combinations. Same with the Chanel. You can put the color on, okay? If I put this color on and then I would top it with another gloss because if you put anything else over the top of this, it'll wipe off. But not if you put this on it, okay? So the one that I was wearing, I am pretty sure in the video was this one. And so you just get it out. Now it's doe foot is a little bit different. It's shaped at a slant which makes it easy to put on your mouth. And yeah, I was just gonna put that in the palm of my hand. Notice it sort of did the same thing, where it's not completely opaque when it goes on. It doesn't go on full on. So you get time to work with it before it dries down. You put this over the top of it, and now we're, now we're talking a different story. So this, I would go so far to, as to say, that the L'Oreal Infallible Two-Step Lipsticks, which I'm pretty sure, don't know it for a fact, but I'm pretty sure they're what used to be in this metal looking thing here. It's really close and it's drugstore. Next in the lineup, you all were there, and I'll link that video there, the KVD lip thing. I went crazy over KVD lipsticks, and I still love the studded line. But I made this, this mistake. See, I bought this. This is Lovecraft. I bought this, I loved it, okay? And then immediately, without even thinking, I just grabbed three more because I love this one. And I kind of wish I hadn't done that. Now, I'm not saying that these aren't good. I, I do wear them, but you will have to reapply. This isn't like the last two I just showed you that stay for a long time and you can eat and drink and whatever in them. These, you have to you take it with you on the go. And they're packaged well for that. You can take these on the go. Uh, you will be reapplying. The one I chose to wear because I wanted to make it a different shade, I believe, was Nespertu. That's not how you say it, I don't know. It's like named after an old vampire or something. This goes on very opaque. It's a fall color um, and it looks beautiful. It dries down for a little bit. I'm going to roll the pictures because a picture is worth a thousand words or three or four. Next in the lineup, I almost feel bad showing. I probably shouldn't have even said, got them, but I can't help it, I love them too much, is these Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams. Now, they brought these out, and then, before you knew it, you're like, oh, limited edition, they're sold out, and you click, get them no more. Um, so I bought Beloved as a, let's try and see, okay? And this shade, 
looks very good on me if I do say so myself. When I when I wear this shade, I'd be like, oh girl, look at your mouth. <laughs> Seriously, I do get compliments and people want to know what I'm wearing every time I wear this. Now this be juicy, okay? You can make a big mess with these. This is beloved. It's beautiful. This one, I found this one accidentally not too long ago in a Walmart. And I thought, it can't be the same. I like it even better because it's that Anastasia shade again. It's called Precious. So um, the reason that I don't pick up more is because I really kind of think that liquid lipsticks on the whole, like these, are not flattering on older women, on mature women because it settles into our lines and it's dry and I think we just look better with uh, a gloss on, which is why um, I'm sort of favoring the Chanel and the L'Oreal over everything else. But these have pretty good staying power and we're going to roll the pictures on them and let you see how long those lasted. This one here is by Revlon, okay, and I'm a sucker for choosing this. I don't like this. I bought this in, I think, I don't remember what the shade was. I bought it as soon as it came out, and I was like expecting it to dry down like all the other liquid lipsticks that I had, but it like didn't. 20 minutes later, I had it everywhere, and so I got rid of that thing. This, to me, kind of smells like cake. And I wouldn't have got this except when I was over at the Ulta. I mean, I kind of wanted to give it a second try. I thought everybody else says they love it. There must be something wrong with me, okay? I'll go get another one. And they had it at the Ulta and the lady gave me a, she stood there watching me for the longest time and I was like, girl, what do you want? Why are you up in my grill? <laughs> what she wanted was to see if I was gonna buy it because she was going to put a ticket on it that gave me 350 off, okay? I still don't like this. Um, I don't think that, ugh. to me, this is a lipstick that happens to be liquid. To me, this doesn't, doesn't act like, if you go into it thinking it's like what I have on, it's a lipstick and it's going to rub off and stuff, and you like this in a tube to carry around with you, then I say, great. But if you think that this, it's like this, I think... To me, it's a disappointment. It lets me down. This one, like the other one, did not dry down and it went all over the place. I mean, it takes, it does dry down eventually. It just takes so long that I end up getting it everywhere before it can dry down. Next, we have liquid melted lipsticks by Too Faced. Yes, and I believe in the video I wore Barry. So this is Too Faced um, melted. And, you know, um, I, I like it because I think you can, it's easy to take on the go, but I don't find these to be particularly easy to put on my mouth. I mean, I guess if I have big voluptuous lips, but I, I'm kind of messy with these, so I don't wear them very often, even though I do love them. But let's go ahead and roll the pictures.
Okay, so the last one I've saved for you. Okay, I don't even know if I want to put this on my hand. All right, so here we go. It's Rimmel. Rimmel of London. And what do you call that? Provocalypse. Okay, if you want to put on your lipstick and maybe wear it for a week, here's your go to. This thing, this one, and this one alone is responsible for the tears you saw in my mouth on Snapchat. Yeah. Can you see that? I had to use long comb by Facil to get this off. Yes, the, the tearing of the lips was trying to get this off my mouth. This, like the Chanel, and um, it's, I think this one tries to copy Chanel, okay, because it's got a gloss on the other end. But like the L'Oreal and the Chanel, it is two-ended. So first you would put on your liquid lipstick, which looks like this, and it is a beautiful shade. And it doesn't take that much. I don't know why I just kept drawing. Okay. We should draw a big old X on here. Because this be going in the trash. I don't feel like tearing off my lips again. This means no. Don't do it. No. <laughs> Seriously, if you want to make sure, like if you're like going to be in a wedding or something, and you want to make sure that your lips don't come off, <laughs> Here you go. You want to drink booze all night and get sloppy with the margarita glass and eat some chicken wings and everything else. And you don't want this, your mouth coming off. Here you go. This thing will take oil to get off. And I've never had to do that before is, I guess, the thing. Uh, maybe a lot of women are already used to having to do that, so it doesn't bother them. But it does me. On the other end is a doe foot applicator that has a gloss and it works along the same principle as the Chanel and the L'Oreal then it locks it in place and it keeps it from looking really dry oh, I'll give it that if this sucker lasted for 13 hours and I tore my mouth up thinking I could just take a makeup wipe and get it off there like the rest of them nope takes an oil I'm telling you right now dirt cheap won't come off roll those pictures From the batches that I have, I think it was safe to say that the winners then on the high end were Chanel and on the drugstore in L'Oreal. I hope that you're having a blessed day, but if you're not, please go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya, bye! Yeah, I'm basically a pig. I'm a pig when I eat. Yeah, I, I, I'm a pig. I guess I'm proud of that. I'm telling you about it. No. Let's see how long it takes her to hogtie this sexist, egotistical, walking, hypocritical bigot. I don't know why that just popped in my head. But it did. And then it just blew right out of my mouth. Yeah. Because that was from the movie 9 to 5. <laughs> I feel like King Tut when I wear this. <laughs> there was a song called King Tut. King Tut. Oh, no, no, it goes like this. King Tut. <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't settle in your lines. Dry lips are wet, not wet, not dry. Ugh. Like the liquid lipstick fairy. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna be that fairy for you today. I am not a fairy. Mary fairy, Mary fairy. You know what? I used to think there were fairies on fairy boats. What does it have to do with this? Not a second. No. Okay, you could be kissing your lips. Yeah, kiss your lips. How do you do that? Little, take your lips off your mouth and kiss yourself with them. Yeah, kiss yourself. You're so pretty. So who doesn't want a little bit of Rebel on action if you're going to get $3.50 off? Especially if you're just going to go throw it away. <laughs> you see what I'm doing there? I'm kind of like trying to be fancy. It's not working. <laughs> Should be called the Lipocalypse. Yeah, see what I did there? I'm like trying to be funny. 
Lipocalypse.